Hello FIFA faithful to episode 6 of Youth Squad Gods with Minnesota United. We are in July, the summer transfer window. And before we get to any gameplay, we'll take a look at a game that I played offline. We were actually losing to uh, Columbus Crew and thankfully France Pangop with the header in the 90th minute gets us the point. So we will be playing games against the Houston Dynamo, New York Red Bulls, and DC United. And all of these games take place at home. So, we've gone to the fun part. Get to pick some real players. We uh, we have a bit of a changed list since we're, you know, trying to we're kind of realizing now that we can only get a couple players on free transfer and a, maybe one player via regular transfer. Uh, a lot of new names on there: uh, Jujak, Ba, Clint Dempsey, who uh, made a move to Stade Rene. Uh, Rafa Marquez has been a player I've been looking at. Just a uh, you know, quick fix at center back. Uh, Lasa Shone. Giuseppe Rossi, another big name I'm looking at. Atiba Hutchinson. Sao. Jeff Cameron will probably be the guy that we do sign since he does have American citizenship. So therefore we can call him as a homegrown player and we won't have to use him in our international slots. Another guy we can use is Jean-Claude Gallo. Uh, Milan Borjan, a goalkeeper who's currently at a Serbian league, Red Star Belgrade, and then Darwin Quintero, who has recently signed with the Loons, but I'm going to use him in another series down the road. So first, I am going to sign Milan Borjan, just because I've kind of checked his stats. He'll be at about a 69, which is perfect for not only the league, but our budget, because we do have quite a bit of money to use for some free transfers, but I really want to just use that for all of our big players that we plan on signing. So Milan Borjan, we're trying to get him for a four-year deal, but uh, only once and once, so we'll, we'll make a compromise at two. This guy, thankfully for us, will be able to come in right away and hopefully uh, pretty much make the goalkeeping better, because Cap, oh, that's been tough. Cap has only had one clean sheet this whole season. So here he is, Jeff Cameron, our second signing we're gonna try to get. I don't know how much he's gonna cost, but this will count as our transfer uh, designated player because technically Milan Borjan was a free agency signing, although he was Red Star Belgrade in the Serbian league. So it will be the Stoke City lad, former uh, US well, he's still a U.S. player. Uh, he was part of the... Was he part of the... Uh, I think he was injured during the 2014 World Cup. And, of course, he won't be playing in the actual World Cup. So, yeah. <laughs> That's a long story. So I'm hoping here it's not too expensive when it comes to transfer. Uh, maybe we'll try for $5 million. Hopefully uh, Mark Hughes is a little generous since he is getting old in age. I'm talking about Jeff Cameron. He's 32 years old. He'll be about 75, 76. So good, they do, uh, they do agree to a $5 million transfer. Now we just have to negotiate. Hopefully nothing too expensive when it comes to wages. If, he, if we can get him about Fifty to 60000 that's probably what he's going to be asking for. Once again, they all want those one-year deals, but i, I got to give them the two years. Because technically, it's more like an 18-month deal. You get them for the second half of the season, and then the season after that. So he's asking for seventy-seven. He's asking for a $2.7 goals bonus, but there's no way he's going to be scoring that many goals. So we're just going to give him the deal. So yeah, we've uh, used a lot of our transfer budget. Uh, board's not going to be too thrilled with that because one of our goals is to end up with seven million by the end of the year. So hopefully we can maybe sell some of our players. All right, so we're going to try Giuseppe Rossi. Reason why I'm trying him, I know he says he's from Italy, but he was born in New Jersey, and he does have the U.S. citizenship. So therefore, if we get him. Cameron and Borjan, because they're all from US or Canada, they will be homegrown players and we won't have to deal with any international slots. 
So in the future, when we maybe want to sign some really good regen that is from a different country, we'll have slots available. Don't know how much he'll be asking for, but hopefully it's uh, nowhere near the $100,000 mark. I'm just trying to, you know, try to save as much money as possible, try to sign some more uh, players out of the academy, and maybe get a really good youth scout star from there. So we will, now that once again, a two-year deal. Uh, he's asking for a $19.7 million release clause, which I will accept. Because that, I mean, if we sell him, that's a hell of a deal, $19.7 million. Yeah, we'll make a lot of bank off of that. And if he doesn't do that well, then we have him. So I'm going to try for $66,000. $66, Hopefully uh, he'll accept that. Uh, looks like he wants a goal bonus too, but he'll actually probably score 20. So we're kind of, yeah, we're a little under budget here. So we'll just try to take that out, but he will not accept. So Giuseppe Rossi for now is not a loon. So I think I'm going to try uh, Yaya Toure, try to get a decent holy midfielder. I mean, that'd be a that'd be a hell of a signing. I mean, he is up in age 34. He'll probably play a couple more years. So having like a high 70s overall uh, holding midfielder when we only have Sullivan, who's only a 48-49, be a big upgrade, 30 points overall. It's gonna suck about the wage here, since he does, since he has been on a uh, six-figure contract for some time. We'll see what sixty thousand does for him. Yeah, he uh, he didn't he didn't take too kind to that. So uh, it looks like what we'll do now is I think we're gonna take a lot of these names off, and we're just gonna put it down to only three players. So we're going to take off Torres, we're going to take off Hutchinson, we're going to take out Baugh. So we'll have Kaisuke Honda, who's in the Mexican League, uh, Dempsey, and Rossi. We'll try him for another chance. Yes, so Idris Bacon has been offered the Canadian national job. So, yes, we'll be having some Canadian bacon in this series. So, first game of the episode, it is home, as I did say previously. It is against Houston Dynamo, who did destroy us. Last time, 5-1. to one. Rinaldi working on the wings. He'll cut. He'll float one into Toy. Toy gets a header, but that is way off target. With, uh, with just 15 minutes left, we'll make a couple changes here. I'm going to put Rinaldi in the center. And as our third designated player pick for this season, because we'll get a player next year, I'm going to have Abu Denladi. We have him. We might as well use him. All right, Rinaldi. Finds Mason Toy. Toy will chip it up. I want to get it to Dunlady, but it'll go to da straight to Dunlady and Dunlady off the crossbar in the 82nd minute. What a super sub this man has come to be. Abu Dunlady, the Ghanaian striker who was drafted first overall in the MLS Super Draft two years ago, gives us the lead. And now, with about eight minutes left, the Loons might just do something they haven't done since March. Win a game. And there we go. Our first victory since March. And it's our first home victory. And that means one thing and one thing only. Q Wonderwall. And after all, you're my wonder wall. All right. So we'll get back to transfer dealings. I'm going to try Giuseppe Rasse for a, another try here. Let's... I. I do prefer him over Clint Dempsey due to his uh, pace. He's still over 80 in both uh, acceleration and sprint speed. So this will be the last chance for Giuseppe to come back to the States and uh, play out his career in the MLS. So this time uh, it looks like I'm not going to give him a release clause, but uh, it's still way over our budget. So I think what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to take out the goal thing altogether and maybe give him a little more wages. And I think I don't really want to lose him on this one, so I'm going to give him $74,000 wage with the half a million signing bonus. 
All right, hopefully he'll accept this, and he does. So we have signed our third and final designated player. Technically, he'll be our third designated player next year with Cameron and Milan Borjan. So there we go. All of our signings have been done. So second game of the episode, New York Red Bulls. Hopefully we can make it two in a row. Sullivan slips it to Skulas and the Icelandic Viking working his way in the box. Does he have a chance for a cross? He'll float it to Toy. Oh, off target for Toy. Royer slides it to Romero Gamara. He's wide open. He's going to flip that up. Oh, off the post. We're going to get it out. Get it out. Jaya with a good header, and he'll go straight to Pangop. All right, Doss gets hit up, but it'll go straight to Rinaldi. Rinaldi, open shot, shoots, and just wide. Marco Rinaldi. Ah! We've had a couple good chances so far, and now it looks like uh, Bulls are on the run, Royer. Oh, Skulason. All right, good cut. Flips it to Toy, and there we go. 52nd minute, Mason Toy, pretty much our talisman. Only the really guy that has been scoring on a consistent basis. Gets the assist from our uh, temporary designated player for the season, Abu Dunladi. So we're pretty much in the same situation as we were last game. We score, but there's still a lot of time left for the uh, opposition to equalize. But still, 1-0 us. Lawrence, Krasowski, to Davis, Royer. Oh, pff. no problem for Borjan. Oh, looks like Sklossin will touch the ball, and there we go. Two in a row. Once again, Q Wonderwall, but I'm, I'm not going to sing any Wonderwall here. Probably get a copyright infringement or, I don't know, it's just cringe infringement. I'll just say that. So, third and final game, DC United, an Eastern Conference squad. It's a battle of the birds. Areola, what an unfortunate surname for him. Good touch by, oh, wow, Acosta trying to go for the volley, but way past him. All right, now Assad slips it to Acosta. Acosta to Kemp, Kemp, wow. What a beautiful driven pass from Kemp, gives it. To pepperoni titties, Areola, and DC are up in the 19th minute. They're threatening again. Mullins gets past Jaya. Jaya gets beat by him. He's going to float one, try to get to Canoos. Canoos with the header, but a great save by our Canadian goalkeeper. Flipping it through. Udanta with a good heel click. Oh, he's still fighting. Shoots! Oh, just wide. Udanta putting some hard work. Back to Doss again. Doss gets pushed off one defender. He still has it. Takes a shot and another wide one from the Indian striker. Uh, we bobbled that one. And that will be the end of the first half. So, good pass by Kemp is the only thing keeping us from being in this game. It was a good goal by Ariella too. Slides it through Mason Toy. Rogerson with a good heel click. Now it's his time. Can he take a shot? He does, but it goes straight to the goalkeeper. It looks like we'll keep it in. So float one in, try to get it to Dunlady, but it won't work out. Rogerson back, slide that through. Oh, good tackle by Toy. Now Rogerson's waiting for that Pangop run, which he'll get. Pretty much only have this now. Can we keep our point streak going? Pangop. To Rogerson. Rogerson's going to float one into Dunlady. And Dunlady hits it off the post in stoppage time. Yes! What a successful episode this is going to be. Draw against Crew. We get our two for, we get our two uh, get two victories since March. And now it looks like oh okay. Looks like it will be an own goal off of Ariola. So he does get a brace in some way. Not the way most people would want it, but hey, four games, eight points. Call that a win all of its own. So that will be the end of the game. They were winning for a very long time, but it was Areola, the goal scorer, to make it 1-1. So looking at the standings, 
we're no longer flirting with last place, but we're still kind of in that area, though, with uh, Galaxy and Earthquakes just a couple points behind us. But I think with our new designated players, Borjan, Cameron, and temporarily Abu Dunladi, I think we'll be working our way towards mid-table. So this will be the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I did playing it. This has been Bearhams. Toodaloo.